Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing a review for the new SE Expressi line. So, so excited about this new line. I was totally surprised when it came out and I'm excited to talk to you guys about it. First, I wanna talk about a few things because I know I'll get questions. So what I have on my lips today is Smashbox Audition and then I'm using the Urban Decay Liar Pencil. I use this pencil for any nudes that I use. I love it and I love their Liar Lipstick too. I talked about it on my beauty favorites that I posted a couple weeks ago and I'll put a link to that down below. On my nails, I have this nice, hot, fiery red. It's so good and bright and that's exactly what I was craving. It's like almost neon, but it's perfect for Christmas time. And it's called Ferrari Red and it's by d and I'm just trying out this new brand. They have um, this duo you can get on Amazon. I'll put a link to it, but it comes with a regular regular polish and then also a gel polish and I thought I'd try the gel out right now I just have the regular polish on because I've been changing it so much I really love gel polishes but I don't have time to do them because I'm switching polish so much which drives me crazy but maybe one of these days I'll take a break and just try out a bunch of different gels We'll see. Anyway, let's get back into the SE Expressi because I know that's what you're excited to hear about today. SC came out with this new line. It's their fast dry, quick dry polish. A lot of lines are coming out with these quick dry formulas and I was really surprised, I didn't know this was coming, that SE was gonna come out with one too. When I saw the bottles, I was like, oh, that's cool. It has a new, I'm just grabbing a random one, a new slender, tall, stretched out, sleek bottle. It's meant to be held in your hand really easy for a quick application and, and it does fit in there really nice I like it quite a bit the only thing that I don't love about it is I like to paint on a table but I guess these are meant to be on the go but I like to paint on a table and so I just have it up and I usually just like leave it sitting on the table and then do this and clean off the side and it did have a tendency I felt like it might tip over it was a little bit tippy but if you hold it in your hand, it's just fine. But that's the only thing that I thought was a little bit different for me is that the bottle was a little tipsy. But I love the new bottle. It's really, really sleek and cool. And I love that they came out with this new line. And then it has a new brush as well. And I'll do a close up video of the brush. It's quite wide, which is actually nice. I know some people might not like that. So I feel like some are a little bit more angled than others and it took me a minute to figure out exactly the way that I was supposed to use it. But once I figured out how to use it, I really, really like the brush. It feels a little bit thicker than their other brush. And so it holds a little bit more polish, which can be nice, but you have to figure out how to work with it. And once you figure out how to work with a brush, it's not not really hard to do. At least for me, it's not hard for me to get used to new brushes. So it's on a little bit of an angle which I ended up really, really liking. I know some people are a little skeptical about it and I think it's cool they're trying new things. I don't know, I love that about it. I see that they're trying new things. So I was really intrigued when I heard about the brush. It does kind of angle towards your nail, which is kind of nice because you can have your hand a little bit to the side and you can see how you're painting your nails. It doesn't block the view or you don't have to bring your arm clear over around to the top of your nails, which was actually really nice and I liked it quite a bit. It's tapered on one side and then a little bit square on the other side, which I thought was gonna be a problem because I kind of like the rounded edge for around my cuticles, but it wasn't a problem at all. And it filled in the area really nicely on that opposite side of the curve. So then the idea is that you flip it around and do the same thing with your non-dominant hand. And so it's a little bit easier to paint that hand. And I did find that it was a little bit easier. I'm always a little bit slower when I paint my non-dominant hand just because I'm trying to be a little bit more careful. And I did feel like that that made a big difference. So I really liked the brush. I think we're gonna get a little maybe mixed review and I think some people might not like it, but I really loved it. Okay, so let's talk about the formula. I There's a broad spectrum of formula in all these, so some of them, I tried out about 11 polishes, and some of them were opaque in three coats, some in two, and some in one. And I like those different varieties because I like the more sheer because it gives you that more built-up gel-like look, and I also love the one colders too, so I didn't have a problem with that. The one that I did try is Don't Be Latte, and I'll talk about the formula here as I let you guys watch me apply this. It was almost opaque in one coat, and it applied really nice with that brush. And then I had to do two coats with it and I felt like I didn't have to do any cleanup after I had painted with it. So it was really nice and smooth. So on that first coat, it dried really nicely and it did dry down faster than I thought it was dry in about a minute. And that's what they claim that it's dry in a minute, each layer, I assume. And then I did my second layer and it went on really nice and smooth and I let that dry for another minute. So I did not use a base coat for this and I did not use a top coat on one hand. So I assumed that because this line is meant to be applied super fast and quick that you eliminate the base and the top coat. 
and I was a little bit nervous about that. I do love a good top coat. I do love a good shine on my nails. And so on my right hand, I put a top coat on and I was just going to wear them and do a little wear test um, for as long as I could until they chipped. Um, I tried, I tested... <laughs> Okay, 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 girl. <laughs> Just a second. Okay, girl, okay, okay, hold on. Just getting mauled by my dog. Okay, so on my left hand, I did no top coat, and then on my right hand, I did a top coat. And I did my Glisten and Glow top coat, the one that I always use. By day one and two, I just had tip wear on both hands. Day three, I had a little bit more tip wear where you could definitely see the edge just looking straight on, not straight forward like this. And then by day four, I did have some chipping on these fingers that I used the most. And I had just slight chipping on the hand on this finger, but I do have a little part of my nail that's peeling, so I really think that's what it was. So it lasted a little bit longer on my right hand with the top coat. That being said, I don't think these are meant to be like super long wear polishes like the Essie Gel Couture, which you can get like eight or nine or ten good days out of that polish. So this did not really surprise me very much. So four days I thought was pretty good and then I thought well it's just so easy to apply it and it dries so quickly that I thought I can just do another coat on top and give me another three or four days. So that's what's awesome about this polish and I really really liked it. And let's talk a little bit more about the drying. So after I did a first coat it dried pretty quickly so I think my manicure was dry in about a minute and then I did a second coat and then I figured it needed a little bit longer to dry so it was two minutes and then just touching it like this just like that didn't leave any fingerprints or anything regular polish it definitely would have and then I didn't about five minutes in I did a little nail test to see if it would leave a little dent and it did leave a slight dent um, and then I waited about 10 minutes and it was rock hard so so really it is a fast drying polish and I was really impressed with it um, that being said, so some of the formulas, like the ones that are more sheer where you do more coats, obviously you're going to need a little bit more um, wait time with that. And those formulas were a little bit shiny too. And I think the shiny polishes just need a little bit longer to dry, but they were super, super fast drying. You could totally do this in your car and 10, 15 minutes later have totally dried manicure. And if anyone who has painted their nails a lot knows that that's pretty quick. Even with a fast dry top coat, I'm really careful with my nails for at least 30 minutes, so it's pretty quick. And I did notice even with the top coat that they did dry a little quicker. Okay, so let's talk about the color variety, and that's probably what I'm most excited about is the color variety. When I saw these polishes on Target.com, um, I have not seen them in the stores yet, so I did buy mine online, and I have been seeing them at like Amazon, on and online at Ulta. They have like those pukey greens <laughs> that I love and this one Precious Cargo is really close to one that I tried to make in the Essie Labs when I went to New York a couple years ago and I was really excited about that one and then it has some kind of unique yellowy orange which I really love to use in nail art and stuff so I thought these would be really cool and it'll be interesting to see how these work in nail art I know they're not really meant for that so I'll have to try that out because they are fast drying I don't know how fast they're gonna dry before I can get to my nail art so I'll have to test that but overall I'm really impressed and really excited about this new release honestly I have to say I was getting a little bit bored with Essie's collections because I really love creams and I feel like they've been coming out with a lot of pearly shimmers and I was just I mean there's one collection I have that I haven't even shown you guys because I just wasn't <laughs> super excited about it I love the Essie gel couture that's my favorite nail polish line and when they came out with those that was so exciting so I'm so excited to have another Essie line to look forward to and I love that they came out with it so I'm super happy with it I have 11 colors I'm gonna show you guys each one and do a swatch if you guys want to stick around for that if you don't go ahead and skip this and then at some point I'm gonna stick these pictures up on my Instagram account so you guys can see them so the first one I'm gonna show you is busy bee line it's this nice pale yellow thank you Essie for doing a pale yellow we've been asking for a pale yellow for so so long and this one's very 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 pretty I would say it has just a touch of tan in it so it's not like it's more of a uh, muted kind of brown out yellow but it's still pale yellow and it's pale enough that it's just 
It's so pretty. You guys are really gonna like this one. The application is really great. I believe it's opaque in three coats. It's hard to get yellows opaque in two. So I think I had to do three for this one. But I really love this one and I think you guys are gonna be really, really happy with it. Another spring time shade is Express to Impress. Totally reminds me of First Timer. I have not compared them yet, but I can guarantee it's gonna be pretty close to this, but that's a really popular regular Essie shade. And so I think you guys are gonna like this one. It's a little bit crelly, not a lot. So I think it's gonna build up nicely in two coats. You might need three on this one, but I would say two would work pretty good. It's a really nice shade and a nice pop of green on your nails for the spring or summertime. This next one is Throw It On. By the way, these names are really fun too. They all kind of go along with like doing things quickly. And I think that just has to do with this next generation, how we need everything quick and fast. <laughs> so. I kind of like what they did there. It's kind of cool. So this is this lilac color and I always love a good lilac polish. And so I picked this one up and it's a really nice shade. It's a little grayed out. I can guarantee they probably have something that's pretty similar to this one, um, but I couldn't pass it up. And then we have All Things, which is another beautiful shade. I love these kind of peachy coral colors, especially in the summertime. This one gets kind of blown out in the camera, so I know my swatch and picture aren't showing it as bright as it really is, but it's really beautiful. And I think this one, all these ones that I'm gonna show you here in the beginning are gonna be about three coats. This might be good in two depending on your application, but I would say three for this one as well. So if that bums you out, then you probably won't like this one, but I really liked it. I don't mind doing three coats, especially when it dries quickly. It's not a big deal to me. I always love a good blue and this one's called Air Dry. It totally reminds me of other blues that Essie has and that's a reason I got it because I know that I love colors like this. The formula is really nice. Pretty sure this one was a one coater. It's really, really beautiful, nice formula. Super fast application with that brush. It's really nice. There was a gray shade a little bit lighter than this one well it's not like this it was a gray online but it was sold out and I was bummed I'll have to check and see if they have it now because I really wanted to get the gray shade but um, I love this one too strong at 1% and this one's not showing up as bright as it is either but it's a nice bright orange it does have a little bit of a rusty quality to it too so I would say it's not like a bright summery orange it's more of like a fall um, subdued orange and it's really beautiful. It's got a fantastic formula. I believe this one's opaque in one coat, but you guys will see that <laughs> in my swatches here as I'm talking and it's just pretty too. This one's Cold Brew Crew and it's a nice brown, but it's quite unique because it does have kind of some red and yellow in it, which makes it a little bit different than your straight up kind of Mink Muffs brown and it's got a fantastic formula as well. It's opaque, I believe, in one coat, maybe two, and I always like to do two anyway, so I say it's a one coater, but I always do two anyway, just because I like the built-up look a little bit more than just like a thin layer of nail polish, and I love this one too. This is Saffron on the Move. So this one is a nice kind of pukey yellow newborn baby poop color. <laughs> it really is, but I like it. I like it. So it has a good formula too. It's probably gonna be opaque in like one coat. I don't know what to say about it. I'll let you guys watch the swatch, but this one is Precious Cargo Go, and I had a few of you message me and sending me a picture of this saying that I would love it, and obviously <laughs> I do. It's one of my favorites. I told them that I already ordered it, and they knew me so well because I love this green so much. It's the one that I mentioned earlier, and it's got a really fantastic formula too. I think I did two coats of this one. I think you guys are going to like this one too. It's just a little bit different than any greens that I have out there. This one's really unique. It's called Taxi Hopping. I think only a percentage of people are gonna really like this one. It's kind of like a greened out yellow with some brown in it. And it's really cool and unique and I love it. And it's got a pretty good formula. I believe this one has a little bit more of a sheerness to it. So I would say two coats for this one for oh. sure. And then this is Don't Be Latte. This is the one that I tried out for a length of time. And I like this one quite a bit. I probably actually might like it a little bit more than this green. So it's a little more browned out green, but they're kind of similar. And it was just fun to wear because it's so different. So I'll be curious to see how these other colors wear as I try them out. And I'll let you guys know maybe in Insta stories how the other ones are wearing and faring. That's it. I hope you guys have a good day and a good holiday. And this might be my last video before Christmas time. So have a good Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever you celebrate. Just have a good holiday. See ya. Bye.